please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. The Lamborghini Spurs. Now it's an all new SUV and as you know, Lamborghini has a history to making SUVs, the cult LM002. But in front of us right now, we have got the Euros. And from the very first fact, the first appeal, I think it looks really, really gorgeous. So it is a Lamborghini, so obviously sleek design, cuts and edges is a given. But then, look at what they've done to the front. I mean, it's so aggressive and there's so much of noise but you know not in the in, in a loud way i like the fact that you know the mahogany has uh, tastefully made all the changes to make it to make the suv have your traditional aero elements that you would expect from a mahogany at the same time make it really really distinct that my friends is the the other uh, ceramic brakes and it is the you should know that the euros gets the largest ever size of ceramic brakes that you can get in a production car as you move towards the side I think that is where it starts to look really really different from whatever you've seen in the Indian market or, or also the global scenario I think it's you know the cuts and creases is something that I really like and then you know when you get inside the Urus frame lace doors now the inside is as gorgeous as the outside now just look at it now this the red and black color combination is just one of the many combinations that you can think of cabin of the euros is something that i wanted to spend some time and oh my god the very fact that i'm sitting at the uh, driver's position uh, makes me feel as if uh, i'm sitting in front or in, in in some in fighter aircraft you know the number of controls the options oh my god i mean okay i think i'm just uh, getting too excited i'm like a small boy who's just given his dream car and I think the Urus is pretty much like a dream SUV, a performance sports SUV. Um, in front of me I've got the TFT uh, instrument uh, display which is really really nice and I think you should uh, see what all can you get from the instrument cluster. Look at those graphics. Whoa, okay. Hmm, moving. You know you've got the TFT. Now this, this, the center panel is a lot different than whatever you have ever seen on an SUV. It is super, super cool carbon fiber. Now you see there are two screens on the center panel and uh, here you will get the AC controls and everything the car. Whereas here you can get every option about the Urus where you can personalize the seats, the, the seat uh, settings, the AC, uh, the drive modes and everything of that sort. But you know what's my favorite? It has to be this, the start stop button and oh my god, I'm so tempted to start this beast of a car. Now moving on, we've got the different modes and I think there are some three on-road modes, three off-road modes. There are close to six modes uh, which uh, helps the Urus to go on, off-road, anywhere. I mean ideally I would not like to take it off-road but the number of tech, the number of equipments that the Urus comes with it's really amazing but you know what it's a lamborghini so obviously the driving elements have to be fantastic however that is not the main highlight of the euros the main talking element is that the rear space well i think i need to elaborate more on the rear space because it's finally the first lamborghini in which you can travel with your family members the lamborghini says if you are six feet and you've got all the occupants who are six feet you will be really comfortable in the Urus and from the looks of it I think uh, while the front is so comfortable the rear can be a squeeze something that we will find out when the car is with us during a review I love the color combinations and uh, Lamborghini says that there are a lot of practical options you can change the AC temperature there are uh, a cup holders so a lot of uh, practicality options that uh, Lamborghini has thought of in a Lamborghini you would be traveling the briefcase or a backpack but not the Urus it actually has a very practical generous boot space and oh my god I don't have the actual figures right now but from the very look of it you can easily pack in everything that you can think of even perhaps a big dog not that I would recommend but you know for that weekend getaway anything and everything will squeeze in inside the Urus 
now that we have spoken about the design, the practicality, the space, there's only one element left and that is performance. It's a Lamborghini, so performance is a given. And the Urus is no longer a surprise. That beast of a motor that you see here is a 4-litre twin turbo. And something that you should know is the first Lamborghini to get a turbocharger. That muscle under the bonnet makes 650 PS of power and 850 Newton meters of torque. And this engine is mated to a new 8-speed automatic transmission. What all of that translates to? Well, a top speed of 305 km per hour and an acceleration of 3.6 seconds to reach 100. Now, all of that makes the Urus the fastest SUV in the world.